Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633, and back with another Star Wars review. Today we're going to take a look at the Star Wars Force Link 2.0 Envy's Nest Swoop Bike. Now, Envy's Nest is a brand new character that's going to be featured in Solo, a Star Wars story, and I really like the design of her outfit, and I think she's going to look pretty interesting in the film. Now, the speeder bike itself is very also interesting design, and we're going to take a look at how it looks like outside of the box in a minute. Anyway, so we'll now take a look at the presentation and contents. To start off, we're going to take a look at the box first. The box is your vehicle style design. It has a very nice artwork design of the bike itself. It has obviously the figure encased in the bubble there. Shows that it is part of the Force Link 2.0 line. The illustration continues on the top. And on the back, obviously we have the information about the product itself. We have the promotion with the Force Link gauntlet. And we have a bio as well. Anyways, we'll now take a look at the figure and the bike itself. Inside the box you do get a couple of things. One, obviously, is the figure herself, along with her weapon, and you do get the swoop bike. Now, there isn't a whole lot of contents within the box itself, but it does nice for what you get, even if there isn't a whole lot going for it. Because of that, I give it a 4 to 5, just because I think they could have added something a little bit extra to the set, but obviously that's something we've seen with a lot of vehicles where it doesn't really have a whole lot just really all the focus is on the vehicle itself. And now we're going to move on to the features. So the figure for Envy is actually pretty well detailed, especially for a 5 POA figure. However, she technically isn't 5 POA once again. And that's because she does maintain the same ball jointed neck as we've seen with other figures. She maintains the same swivels and the same swivels at the hips. There is a soft goods cloak design for the figure, so that's really nice. They could have easily just made it a plastic cloak, but it's nice that this is soft goods. And a somewhat softer skirt piece here, so that it doesn't hinder the articulation, which is nice. And she actually includes some elbow swivels, which is really nice, or should I say bicep swivels. She can carry on to her little spear weapon. And thanks to the bicep swivels, we are able to put the figure... Sorry, the weapon into a dual wielding position. So that's very nice that you can actually do so. It's a lot of the five POAs obviously does not have the ability to do that. And she does have the force link chip underneath there. The bike itself is very interesting. It's very reminiscent of a lot of the OT style vehicles. She does have a little bit of a hard time standing, unfortunately, but other than that, the vehicle itself is pretty nice. It does remind me a lot of the OT vehicles. There isn't any moving parts on this particular vehicle. Obviously, there is a little bit more of a softer plastic and a lot of the design, but it's not something that's made to really move, per se. It does have this somewhat softer plastic wires, which unfortunately can get warped very easily, so that's unfortunate. But other than that, that's pretty much what the vehicle does. Obviously, since this is her bike, you can allow her to actually ride the vehicle. And thanks to the bicep swivels, she can actually ride it properly. So we were able to put her hands on the handles. There isn't a whole lot of resistance here, so that's nice that it's easy to put on the figure. And she does actually stay on pretty well. Even if you shake the vehicle and so on, she does actually stay on pretty well as long as you keep her hands on the handles, which is very nice that it actually stays on well. So, you can place the weapon, for what I could tell, on this little peg area here. I'm not 100% sure if that's made to do so, but it does look like you can place her little spear weapon there. And underneath, it does feature the force link chip right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. So you pretty much get the basics of this particular vehicle. While it doesn't do a whole lot, it does look nice on display, and she does work very nicely with the vehicle itself. But due to the lack of overall features, unfortunately, I still give this set a 4 out of 5. Now, in terms of overall value, this is a $20 vehicle scale, so it's pretty much just the basic kind of pricing for a vehicle this scale in the modern day. So, I think the price is okay for what it is. It's definitely better to get it on a discount as usual. But even for me, $20 really isn't that bad in my opinion just because the design is very nice. And you do end up getting an exclusive figure for Enfy's Nest 
herself here. However, supposedly there is going to be a vintage collection version of this particular character later down the road. So if you just wanted a figure of the character, then it's probably just better off getting the standalone vintage collection release. But other than that, I give this a 4 to 5 just because of what it does. It really doesn't do a whole lot, but it does look really nice in terms of overall value. So that concludes my review for Enfys. Now, swoop bite. Now, there isn't a whole lot going on, as I mentioned earlier, but it does look really nice on display, and especially if you're a fan of these kind of strange-looking vehicles, then this is definitely something that's probably up your alley to actually purchase. Other than that, this is kind of a 50-50 kind of idea to actually get a hold of this particular vehicle, especially since the movie has not come out in theaters yet, so it's really unknown exactly how important Enfy is going to be for the overall sense of the film. So it's either get this now because the design is pretty cool, or wait to see how the character ends up in Solo A Star Wars Story. I got this at Amazon since my area still haven't really stocked a lot of these larger vehicles. I did end up seeing some of the three and three quarters figures, but not so much the vehicles right now. So it has been trickling out and hopefully by the time this review goes up, they will be in mass quantities throughout the country. Anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check out my Twitter, DarkOn633, and also on Instagram under DarkOn633 as well. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my content go up as soon as possible. And back with more Star Wars reviews. But for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye. <music>